Hello, it's me, Lufisra. I'm back after three weeks of not streaming. I'm finally back to play more of Agatha Christie Murder on the Orient Express. It has been three weeks, yes. Because <laughs> I went on vacation like about, I think two to three weeks actually. I went on vacation like on the 24. Yeah, of November. And then after that, uh, so I missed that week of streaming, right? And then after that, you know, I, I said I would stream, but my body hates me, okay? I fell sick immediately after my trip, you know, just right at the end of my trip. I fell sick because yeah, as I usually do, but I haven't been traveling for like six years. And I forgot about that fact until I started falling sick. And then I remembered, oh, yes, I fell sick. I do fall sick after a trip like always like traveling is fun but it takes a toll on my body at the end of it and well now i'm back to finally play more of this game and i don't remember much of it yes my favorite sick vtuber because i'm always sick oh dear but yeah i'm 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 back to play more um i did remember that i thought i ended uh the game but then the game tricked me. I was like, no, you thought we solved the mystery, right? But nope, we did not solve the mystery. <laughs> you know, and here we are. I think we're in Venice. I might be wrong. And also, I don't really know the controls anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, forgive me. Can I get out of the train? Are we, no, we are moving on the train. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Hold on. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Okay, mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. Uh, who killed Ratchet? I, I, we, we found who killed Ratchet, but I don't, okay, tab. Yeah, you have chronic illness. What's your chronic illness? Chronic illness sucks. Like, I have, like, uh, morning sinus. Although, it, it I say it's morning sinus because I have no other way of saying it, but it might be allergies, too. It's like, um... At a certain point in time of the day, usually at night, I start sneezing a lot and having the runny nose. It stopped recently though because I, I fell sick and my doctor did prescribe me medication for the allergies. Um, but I had that problem for a while. For a long while, a couple of years. It only recently it got better, which is good. I no longer have like a stuffy nose when I, when I sleep. Because I like sleeping in air conditioning, okay? Because it's Singapore. Singapore is so freaking hot. You cannot live without air conditioning. I need it. Granted, it has been raining recently and it's been cooler, but <sighs> talking about this makes me miss the weather in Vietnam. At least when I was there, the weather was great. It was not raining and it felt great, especially to, in the morning or at night or in their shade. Uh, it's cooling. It's like really chilly a little bit, not too cold. Um... But when their sun is hot, because it's still like autumn-ish. I want to make a joke when you said Vietnam, but you don't. <laughs> oh, I mean, you can try and make that joke in the Discord on Cosmic or my Discord if you want it to be private. But <laughs> yeah, maybe not do it here. I don't want to get in trouble. Twitch, I love you. But okay, fine. My Hastings. What means find your Hastings? I have to find someone who can help my investigation in Venice. Is it one of the characters? Okay. And Do Dr. Constantine. All right. Uh, where is Dr. Constantine again? <laughs> oh, good God. This is what happens when you don't play a game for three weeks. You completely lost. 101. Is he going to be staying in the body though? Where's the body at? 203. Okay. Um... Yeah, and I think I fell sick. We're speaking of Vietnam. I think I fell sick because my family and I went to this rooftop bar or lounge. Yeah, it's it's a really cool place. You can see the entirety of Hanoi. Well, almost. It's just a great view 
at night, you know, like just see everything. Uh, but it is chilly. It's not that chilly when you're on the ground floor, but when you go all the way up like 60, like 70 stories, it's freaking cold. And yeah, it was, it was nice. It was funny. I didn't feel that cold at the time, but of course it caught up to me, right? Because traveling as fun as it can be, can be stressful on the body. You know, and the difference in temperatures too, probably play a part in that. So you were sick for a week and slept almost the entire week. Oh, that's sad. You know, like, I mean, being able to sleep the entire week is not that sad, but being sick and then have to, having to sleep, it's sad. I mean, probably because I'm, I'm working and if I could stay home for the entire week and not do anything, it'd be great. But only when I'm not sick. And no one wants to be sick, okay? And no one healthy, like mentally healthy wants to be sick. I sure don't. I had to take two like sick days, you know, because I came back and then uh, there was like training actually I was supposed to go to, but I was sick. So I took like days off and just rested at home. And I felt bad for doing it, even though they said like a normal person should take leaves, should take day offs. And I was sick. You now there's a reason for it, a legitimate reason. I wasn't faking or anything, but I still felt bad. I need, I need to work on that, you know? It's okay for me to take days off when I'm sick. Okay, so let me finally start the game. 203, so I'm 202. Is he going to be still here? I think we should let Ratchet rest in peace. Oh, okay, so do I go look for... Who do I go look for? Wait. Maybe he's with Joanna. 105, okay. I'll see how long I can go for playing this. Um, I'll try at least two hours. <laughs> I'll try. But as we all know, this game does trigger emotion sickness sometimes. Oh, and Constantine's right here. Great. Doctor, a moment. Have you made arrangements for Ratchet's body? Yes, it will be collected by the Italian authorities when we reach Venice. Oh, so I was right, we were going to Venice. There. However, there is something odd. What's well, odd? Since the train is French, jurisdiction must be shared. Okay. When I told them you were already on the scene, they have both agreed to support your investigation until we reach Paris. Ratchet's compartment will be sealed until we arrive there. Okay, All good. conspired to kill Ratchet are to be confined to the train until then as well. Okay. So, thanks to you, I am the rope in a tug of war between two countries. Oh, there are like 13 chapters, yes. To be in charge. And isn't it odd we continue on our journey with a trainload of people? Uh, I think I'm at nine chapter. Calm yourself, doctor. It is not the first time I find myself in the middle. And to be honest, I welcome the chance to see this case through. It is fast becoming one of the most challenging of my career. Of course. Okay, I talked to Constantine. I did something. How many chapters am I at? Yeah, chapter nine, City of Love. So I have a couple of chapters to go. I probably won't be able to beat the game today. <laughs> Obviously. Like, how long am I supposed to play this game? Like, look at the last save. <laughs> it was three weeks ago. Look at that last save. Man, it was so long. It's been almost a month. I thought Paris was the city of love, not Venice. Yeah. But I don't know. We, they said we we're going to Venice, though. Are we stopping in Venice to then go to Paris? Because I remember seeing online uh, and being spoiled a little bit that we are going to be in Venice. So even though I, for a moment, I was like, I thought we beat the game, but I was like, wait, I haven't been to Venice yet. So I think we're going to be in Venice first. I don't know, man. I don't know. And hello, you Makos. Welcome to the stream of me being so lost. I don't know what to do. Because it has been three weeks since I played this game. And I am... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I need to find my Hastings. Who should I find? My friend Hastings often feel this role, but I have to find someone else this time. Yeah. Uh, Hastings is not here. 
uh, I, I know in the original, like the books, and even in the original game made by Adventure Company, like the classic one, Hastings is not there because he's not in the mystery. He's not part of it to begin with. But I, I actually don't mind if they actually included Hastings in this one. I like Hastings. Well, okay. The Hastings in... Agatha Christie, Hercu Paro, uh, the London case was pretty good. The Poirot in that one was all right. Not my favorite, but that pacings was pretty good. And just came by to say hi. Yeah, thank you for dropping by and saying hi. Hello. But yeah, and uh, I love the Hastings is evil under stencil the best. He and Poirot had the best chemistry in that game. I swear. One of my favorites. One of my favorites, along with, along with uh, ABC Murders, those two. Yeah. In the London case, it was because probably because like, uh, um, Hastings and Paro met for the first time. They're not like friends already. Whereas for um, Evil Under the Sun and ABC Murders, they are friends already, and knew each other for some time, and they worked together on cases before. You know, so they have a good, like, chemistry and everything, but he's not here in this one, so I, I imagine we're going to work with the lady, uh, Joanna? She's the police detective, right? I mean, I don't know. I'll try. Where are you at, bitch? But she's not here. Okay, who am I supposed to go to to look for? Okay, not this one, sorry. Eating Doritos cheese with cheese dip. It's a lot of cheese. I mean, it sounds good if you enjoy it, but I'm not a fan of cheese. I do have a honey biscuit with me, though. I didn't. I, I ordered it with my dinner, but I didn't eat it yet. Granted, it's supposed to be glazed with honey, but I don't really see the honey on the biscuit. Although some would call it a scone. I would call it a scone instead. I mean, but the, the restaurant itself called it biscuit, so. What do I know? Need to find one who isn't a suspect. Joanna? Joanna. When was our lock? Okay, now. Who is Mademoiselle Lock? Like I said, I, I completely forgot everyone. Oh yeah, Joanna Locke, Joanna Locke. But where is Joanna Locke? <laughs> Joanna Locke. He's not, she's not in her room. So I'm, I'm supposed, maybe I should go back and look for her somewhere. Uh, yeah. This is what I get for not playing the game for three weeks. I should have watched my previous videos before I started the stream. But I was busy doing other stuff. So, yeah. Probably should have, like, read up on stuff, I think. But where are you, Joanna? It's not here. I forgot the entire train. I love how you say the only known answer, yeah. I mean, why not? Hints are there for a reason. As Kalina said, you're using your resources, and there she is. Hello. Mademoiselle Locke, you are clearly an excellent police officer. Could you accompany me? I mean, I'm going to use the hints they are there to use. Activities? There is much we still I like my answer being confirmed, you know? Well, yes. It would be an honor to work with you. And I'm glad you trust me. What do you have in mind? There was a notation in Ratchet's appointment book. He had an appointment. With who? There no were idea. Only the initials A W. They were to meet at ten o'clock at the Fontana dei Conigli. I want to know 
who Ratchet was meeting and why. But you've already discovered the 12 conspirators. Why is this meeting important? Unfortunately, the case is not complete. Dr. Constantine has discovered the presence of a 13th stab wound. One of them could have stabbed him twice. The wound was made with another finer blade. Why would one of them have used two knives? Did they want to confess they killed him more than the others? And if so, why bother to deny it when they have already confessed? No, it makes no sense. And I do not close a case until all questions have been answered. You of all people must understand this. You're right. I do understand. I'll help you. Thank you. I mean, I kind of understand, but also I'm like, he's a bad person. We found who killed him. Okay, drop it. The end. Excellent. <sighs> I guess I have more game to play because of it. Okay. Another mystery to solve. Okay, so do we go straight to Venice now, or are we just gonna travel? Okay, yeah, we're going straight to Venice. First departure of the train already called the Orin Express took place. This is the third hmm. embarking dock and no gondoliers available at all. This is Venice, guys. With Carnival, you can't find a gondolier to cross that damn canal. Is he true Phantom of Venice, anyone? The worst thing is that the fountain is just across this canal. We're almost there. And there we are. Look at that, man. I haven't played that one. I'm not that interested in it. Because I, I keep feeling like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know some people would enjoy it. But for me, it's like, why would the Italian FBI look for Nancy? An 18 year old freaking girl. <laughs> like, why? It just, I just feel like it's a fever dream. Nancy felt so sick. That while she was dreaming, you know, and in sleep, she's like, I'm solving a mystery. And that's that's what Phantom of Venice is to me. OK, so what am I supposed to do? Um, we cross the canal. Needed someone able. But here's the thing, though. OK, maybe it's because I've met an undercover cop in real life before in in Singapore. I was a real uh, I was a kid, okay? So that explanation to me doesn't make sense because when a, a cop is undercover, you do not know. You cannot tell that they're undercover because they are undercover. They look exactly like your regular person that you walk past. Me and my uh schoolmates, you know, and friends back then we were really young. We were playing and that guy had been sitting there for so long and we didn't even really bother like we noticed him when we when we we arrived, you know. But that's it. We didn't really pay attention because he looks like a regular guy, just maybe waiting for someone or just sitting on his in his motorcycle. He was asking us about a suspect, I think, and we didn't notice anything because we're kids. But yeah, an undercover cop looks like looks like anyone on the screen. Like see the rest of the people standing there. They look perfectly normal. You, you wouldn't tell if one of them is undercover. They don't. They don't need an American teenager, no less, to be undercover, doesn't it? Isn't it even more suspicious that suddenly this random American teenager just drops by and stays at this like shabby old like place instead of a freaking hotel? Because clearly the eighteen-year-old teenager is rich, right? She's vacationing alone she doesn't have any friends with her for one her, her boyfriend's at home her parents aren't with her she's all alone in this foreign country and speaks no italian whatsoever and she stays at this rundown location in the middle of nowhere instead of in the middle of the city where all the tourist spots are with all the uh you know nice stuff isn't that more suspicious to me or she almost died by a pot. Yeah. I mean, it's clearly run down, right? It's, it's not a great place. Like, it's so suspicious. If it was me, 
I would be so suspicious. Like, why the fuck would you go to this random place in the middle of nowhere where there's nothing around to see for on a vacation? An 18 year old, no less. If you're like in your 30s, your late 20s, 30s or something, you're an adult, a full adult. I wouldn't be so suspicious of it because you're an adult. Maybe you like going to places like this, right? But she's an 18 year old teenager. I think we forget that a lot because of Lani Malinla. Like, Lonnie sounds definitely more older than, like, Nancy does, so we kind of always forget, like, Nancy's a teenager because she sounds a lot older than a teenager. But she's a teenager, 18 year old, like, traveling alone with no friends. Isn't that a bit weird that she picked that place of all places to stay at on a vacation to Italy? <laughs> to venice you know like a city of love where you see there's so many shit going on here in the canal and she doesn't stay here at the like the tourist spot i'm sorry i'm rambling about it but it is just weird to me i just the logic but probably it's only because like i said i have met an undercover cop in real life before so i i know they're just they look like any regular person so it really makes no sense to me why nancy is called so that's why i treat it as a fever dream Hi there. We'd like to cross the canal, please. There is but that's just me. That's just me. Please. According to the map, the Fontana de Canigli is just across the canal here. No. I, Gabriele, cannot help you. I'm sorry. We'll miss the 10 o'clock rendezvous if we try to get through this crowd and have to walk a kilometer in both directions. Why is he refusing to take us across? He looks upset. I should try to find out why. If it's a matter of price, I'm sure we can work it out. Money? Money won't help me now. His problem isn't money. What is it then? Can I ask? Hey, what's your problem, dude? And what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to him about anything. There are other people standing there. Am I supposed to ask them about it? Maybe I can go ask the other dudes. Okay, let's. She walks so slow. I don't like it. I am sure this little. Problem will pose no challenge to you. Oh, for fucking sake! You can talk to other people. To find a gondolier during carnival. Oh, for fuck's sake, lady, move out of my freaking way! <laughs> Let's talk to the other people. But yeah, I mean, look at the quality of this. I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's pretty dark. But yeah, I can't talk to any of these people. What am I supposed to do, man? Uh, jeez. <laughs> so... Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm gonna try and move slower a little bit because... Okay, this, this, uh... It's calm and relaxing, although not as clean as it could be. Yeah, definitely this looking around for stuff is what triggers my motion sickness, so... I will try my best, but no promises. Okay, I can't talk to any of these people. And who is this guy waving to? He's waving every couple minutes. Like, who's looking? There's no one looking at you. Okay. Am I supposed to be able to talk to someone else? Holy shit. Can't talk to anyone else. <laughs> I can't. I don't get it. Ancora una volta sono dalla parte spagliata. Del canale per la festa. Sorry, I don't speak Italian. Yeah, I don't speak Italian at all. Hey, there's a little kitty sitting here. Nice. Whoa. What's that? A picture for the tourist brochures. Ew. Oh boy. I'm gonna stand here for a bit. Oh, the spinning around is killing me. Hints. Because I don't want to trigger motion sickness. It's. I talked to the gondolier. How did we know he lost a ring? 
Well, damn. Okay. Thank you, game, for telling me he lost a ring. I don't know that. Okay. Am I okay? Well, my motion sickness is kicking in. <laughs> That's why. Uh, it's bad. It, it's easier on the train because you just move like straight, you know? The only time you need to really turn is when you need to enter like the rooms. So it doesn't trigger my motion sickness. But how fat are you, Joanna? Just walk past him. Jeez. But yeah. But in crowds like this where you have to turn it's just something about it that triggers my motion sickness and it's bad like really bad i'm like the person that has the worst motion sickness of everyone i know which it's a good thing when i was flying on the plane that my motion sickness didn't get triggered the medication that we had was pretty good. So there's that. Even on the smaller plane, I was okay. But probably also because it's not a uh, it pretty good weather. And not like a very like long flight too. It's, just, it's about three and a half hours at most. So there's that. Oh my god. What am I supposed to find a day ring? And I'm tired. That's probably contributing to to my motion sickness as well because I'm tired. Can I look for the ring in here? Um. Ah, what a sham. A beautiful bouquet crushed by revelers. Bella Chiara, the beautiful Chiara. A beautiful name for a beautiful gondola. <laughs> Gondolier problem. Great. I just guessed that. Nice. Score. One for the good guys. Okay, maybe I need to talk to him. I'm sorry you had a fight with Kiara. What? How did you know? I'm a detective. I'd like to help, if I can. If you have a spare engagement ring, detective, I'll take it. Ah, I see. You lost the engagement ring you were planning to give Kiara? Lost? It is worse than that. I threw it away in the canal. I bitterly regret this gesture. I oh my fuck. Without a girlfriend and without a ring. How am I supposed to find a ring if it's right in the middle of the canal? That sucks. If you find the ring, maybe the gondolier will take us across. You are right. There is not much time. I will help you. So how am I supposed to find the ring? Am I supposed to just swim in the ocean? I mean, not the ocean, the canal. I'm just going to jump in and hey. I just felt Poro. <laughs> Lead the way, Poro. Oh my good God, this freaking... Uh, these ladies. Like, seriously, Joanna, just walk. Uh. <sighs> He's just walking. Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. Doves, nano pigeons. Sorry about that, it's pigeons. At least that's what my Steam achievement told me. What am I supposed to do with this? Wait. I know someone who would be happy. Aha! How did I find that? Oh, uh, yeah. 
and these are rubbish. An empty soda can. Well, voila, I did it. Uh, okay, let me go back to the dude. Yeah, my motion scene is getting really bad. Let me hope that I can just really beat this and then there's not much game left. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I may not be able to stream for too long. Excuse me. I believe I have something that belongs to you. Mamma mia, grazie mille, signorina. With this, I can now win my Chiara's heart again. I know it. How to thank you? My friend and I need to get to the other side. We have a very important date at the Fontana di Conigli. Ah, yes. The rabbit fountain. Of course, I'll take you across. Then I will call Chiara. Hopefully, she will forgive me. I'm sure she will. Well done, Detective Locke. Thank you, Poro. Time to go opposite. Hopefully, the confrontation didn't last too long. Because, oh my god, my head. I need to lie down soon. This district of Venice is very charming. It sucks because I haven't been treating for long. If I really have to end the stream early though, I might I will just stream in the afternoon tomorrow too. You know, because I, I want to get that two hours at least. You know, one hour today, one hour tomorrow. <laughs> two hours. Right? Well, I'm trying. I will try. This is why I hate motion sickness. Because some of the games, man. It's just... If it's not too much to ask, can you wait for us until we return? Yes, no worries. I can call Chiara from here to find the fountain, walk along the quay on the left, then cross the bridge and you are there. You cannot miss it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, signorina. You have made me the happiest gondolier in Venice. Okay. So... He showed us this area, so I'm just gonna walk over and then find the bridge. And yeah, I'm just gonna try that. But yeah, my motion sickness is getting really bad, guys. Like, really bad. I, I really may not be able to do this for long. Ugh. That's one thing about the newer games, like, uh, the graphics are great, like, really great, but, uh, they trigger my most just thing as, like, worse than, like, the old ones. Like, when I played, like, the old, like, uh, Murder on R Expressed, I didn't get tri my most just thing as triggered, but the new games, just some, something, they do something to my brain. It's not good. Do you stream Nancy Drew? I do. Not often though. My last the right time in the right My last uh, Nancy Drew game is Crystal Skull. Run, Detective Locke. Poirot does not run. I'll wait sitting down. Maybe by next game I should stream Nancy Drew. <laughs> and 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 or a game that does not trigger my motion sickness because damn, does it my brain hurt. Ugh. I'm trying to push myself. I don't want a super short stream, but I'm not doing well, guys. I'll say that. I'm really not doing well. And Nina is going to stream later. <laughs> I want to watch it. I don't want to be sick. Ugh. Nobody. The desk clerk must be asleep or off partying. Yeah, I, I, I might need to lay down. That's what I do when I don't want to take medication. Is to, to lay down and just try and sleep it off or something. But I haven't even been streaming for one hour. But yeah, it's just bad. 
and just, ah, like this is why I love these games. But it's always easier when the game is in the tr- is in the train than you know. If there's no one to help me, they won't mind if I help myself. But I'll play a little bit longer. Uh, a W Aziz Wadi. That's the only name that corresponds to the initials A.W. Spacente, non ti ho sentito. Posso aiutarla? I'm sorry, I don't speak Italian. Do you speak English? Of course, signorina. How may I bother you? How? What? Oh, I, I have an appointment with one of your guests. What is the name? I have an appointment with Mr. Aziz Wadi. Do you know if he's here? Well, unfortunately, he left the hotel this morning. He, he left? to be in a hurry, but he left a carta. You are? I'm Mrs. Ratchet. Mr. Wadi asked me to give the message to the Signore, but I suppose this is okay. Well, hey. <laughs> I mean, I did something before I entered the room, right? I did something. Okay, I think I'm being watched. I changed our meeting place. Alice was sitting on the fountain. She glanced at the statue of the white rabbit. Suddenly, the beast hopped away. Alice followed it. Again, let Alice be your guide. After walking through a narrow alley and crossing a bridge, Alice came upon two men who were arguing over who had the tallest hat. Her feet led her back to the narrow alley and then to her small square, where she found a cat drinking tea. The mischievous kitty ran into another alley. Alice chased after him. Breathless, Alice arrived in a large square with, a bar- with barracks for playing card soldiers. But they came marching towards her. Alice ran and ran to the end of the quay. There, a large door with uh, uh, Gorgon's face on it demanded a secret code. The code that Alice had collected throughout her journey. Oh. Oh my god, nope. I know, yeah, it's Alice in Wonderland, but yeah, this is a puzzle. You have to look around and, and find that secret place, and in my condition, I am not be able to do that. Like, no way. I'm gonna puke my guts out because I'm already feeling nauseous. That's how bad my motion sickness is, so. Yeah, it's really bad. It's getting really bad. Yeah, I, I cannot. I cannot. I, I really cannot. It's not even been an hour, but I really, yeah, this is not, it's not good. This is not good. No, no, it's not. It kind of sucks. But, yeah, this is the thing with motion sickness, yeah. I just, I, yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll stream this game again tomorrow, or maybe I would play something else that I won't trigger my motion sickness, you know? Because I'm going to work on Monday, right? Or maybe I'll just do some recording for YouTube. Hidden object games never triggered my motion sickness. But yeah, this is just bad. This is just bad. Sad for me to end early, but when I've, I'm just back, right? But I don't want to be sick. Or work on a Discord. Yeah, you reminded me. I am back on vacation. And I have some time. I can lay down and work on my Discord. Even though that's your job. I, I mean, I can still do some stuff, right? But yeah, I know I need to just go lay down and relax for a bit first. Because, yeah, my head's killing me. It really is. And this video for YouTube is also going to be very short <laughs> compared to my, my other videos. That's at least like 50 minutes long. This video is like not even 40 minutes. But I feel nauseous. It's the thing about this game. We probably may not be able to stream it for a long. Uh, two minutes YouTube video. <laughs> nah, not that short. But yeah, maybe you know what? If I really want to stream for like three hours game, I might do this thing where like uh, I play something else first and then the last hour I can play some murder on art express or the last well, 40 minutes. 
You know, that way I end off and I can go chill, right? But yeah, I'll continue probably next week. I need a break. As much as I love this game, my motion sickness don't. And it's really sad that it's going to be a very short stream. But yeah, my body hates me. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Discord, okay? I'll see you in the Discord. Because I cannot. Maybe my sickness hasn't really, like, gone away. But I don't know. My body just hates me, okay? My body is... I don't know why I have such bad motion sickness. I, this, 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 I hate it. I want to play so many games, but I cannot because damn you motion sickness, right? I've had people recommend games to me like, hey, play this game. It's so great, right? Or I find a game that we want to play and it looks interesting. And I'm like, well, I cannot play it because motion sickness hates my guts. My body's like, fuck you. You're not going to be playing this game. Not because you're going to be puking your guts out if you do. No. Yeah, that's, that's that's also the same reason why I'm not playing like Hogwarts Legacy all that much. As much as I love it, as much as uh, it's beautiful and everything, but when some of the quests when you do it, it's like it triggers my emotion sickness and nobody's business. And I've been procrastinating on it and I haven't finished it yet. When I really I should. I I hate the feeling of getting motion sickness. You know, I really do. But that's why. And yeah, I know I'm rambling. I'm trying to. Long the time for my stream and my YouTube video. I'm doing this on purpose, okay? But yeah, I really should end off and go and take a little nap and shit before Nina's stream because she is going to be streaming and I really want to watch it. And yeah, I'll work on other stuff. Can we raid? Okay, hold on. Let me quit. Let me. Okay, you know what? Let me go. Switch out. You guys can stare at the screen. <laughs> can I raid? I've never raided someone before. I don't think anyone I know is on at the moment. I've never raided anyone before. And my timing is off. My timing is off because I'm always like on at a weird time. Is she okay with a raid? Even though it's only one person. <laughs> it's only one person raid. They'd be okay with it. Okay. I'll try. I will try to raid for the first time. I don't have a raid message. So Mr. Back Gaming, you can send whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Just nothing offensive, okay? And yeah, I'm just going to go rate him. And yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, next week. If I don't stream tomorrow, next week. But if I do stream, it's probably not Agatha Christie. Okay, it'll probably be something else. I'll probably be playing something else. And it will be in the afternoon. Because it's a Sunday for me. And I work on Mondays. But yeah, rating now. See you guys. Okay, and for YouTube, I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Okay, I love you all. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry my mother's is getting the better of me. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. See, I'm already like, I can't pronounce my words now. But yeah, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.